Hello and welcome to the Player Move Template tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Player Move Template from the ecosystem in your own game project. So first thing that we're going to want to do, select the Playmaker Editor and hit Alt-E, bring up the ecosystem. You can also get the ecosystem from here in Add-ons, Ecosystem Browser. Okay, and I'm just going to come over here, Filter, Templates, Browse. Now we already have the first person look template in from last time, so I'm going to import our player move by hitting the get button. You'll see that it adds to Playmaker custom templates, first person, and then that's the player move FSM. Hitting import, you can see it got added there right now. With it selected, you can see that it pops over here. I'm just going to close the ecosystem. Here's some comments to help you understand what's happening here and the two actions that are running it. Now if I select my player and I come down and add a new FSM, and if I hit edit on that FSM, go to the FSM tab, come over here to the dot, 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 and depending on the FSM, it will get categorized differently. Over here, we have our player move. So now this has the player move FSM template. It's not ready to go just yet because what you need is the player camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the player camera into this input variable. Now that this is all set up, I'm just gonna come over here into the FSM itself. I'm gonna to click to edit and here in the state, you can see this part that says, note, this requires the game object to have a character controller component. Because this is a template, it doesn't give us that nice little button to automatically add a character controller component, but we can come up here and add it ourselves. Character controller. And now you should be able to hit play. And now I can move around. So this is the player move and the player look FSM templates combined, which gives you a simple first person character controller. Note that this template currently uses the get axis vector action, but if you wanted to use the new input system, you could just swap this out for one of the new input system actions. And you'll see over here that we have our input variables, one of which is player speed. So right now this is what five units looks like. You could change it to something like 25. And now I'm moving much faster or something like one and I'm moving very slow now. All right, and that's how you set up the player move FSM template. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.